All right, it's time. The lightning talk. So, first on the line, this is you, LF uh, uh, Giannis. Uh, I will I will put up the first slide. The rules are simple. You have four minutes. Right? You have four minutes, and uh, and uh, during those four minutes, uh, which are tight four minutes, you do whatever you want. You can stop in the middle, ask for feedback, but. Uh, after those four minutes, we'll get the score for from the audience, a yes score from the audience. So, Lev Karigaris, Open Source Cubes at Workshop, move three, this is for you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Fred. Thank you very much also for accepting our proposal and for, for, for us being here. It's a great opportunity. Um, so, yeah, I would like to go straight away since I have only four minutes. So, uh, what is MOVE? So, MOVE is a group of students, actually. So, it's uh, the name comes from Munich Orbital verification experiment where a group of students from Technical University of Munich, uh, of course, that we run under the Bar Association. And right now we are approximately 80 students working in the project. Um, this is runs completely by students. And as you can see, we have completed the, um, uh, the CDR uh, and now we have uh, started the PDR. So we are in a really good, um, I would say, state. Uh, of course, we have done something in the past as well. So we have plenty of experience. We have launched our first satellite in 20. 2013 and then that follows up with 2018 and 2019 with the second generation of MOVE, MOVE 2. Uh, those two satellites are identical and after that we had the opportunity to uh, develop further uh, our payload and then we had the chance to launch uh, a balloon in June uh, last summer and afterwards also in October uh, we had another opportunity to, to launch a second balloon. Uh, we're planning, of course, to have some more uh, balloons in the future. And finally, the satellite will be hopefully launched in 2024. Um, as you can see, we have a normal team structure, as in most of the CubeSats. Uh, so we're trying to, in the implementation, to have electrical software and mechanical team. And then in the design, all the different subsystems. Of course, we have the science and project management, public relations and mission control. Um, yeah, what, what is the problem here? So the problem is the space debris, and this is what we're trying to tackle, actually. So we have only 61% of satellites in space are still operating. Uh, as of 2021, more than um, 36,500 degrees objects greater than 10 centimeters are estimated to be in orbit. And this is, of course, a threat for spacecraft, satellites, or even astronauts, because the high kinetic energy of that uh, make even the small particles really deadly. Um, unfortunately, we have limited information from subjects uh, smaller than 10 centimeters because we cannot track this uh, info from uh, from the ground so this is makes them uh, a bit challenging the whole topic so here comes our project and what we say is that we are trying to measure small space debris and meteoroid, meteoroid particles uh, we're trying to validate and reach ESA space debris models we try to increase the awareness of space debris to contribute on the characterization of space environment in leo and finally the most important of course it's at the end of the day to teach the students how to build a spacecraft this is our sensor. So the sensor is based on the Munich dust counter, which is the box that you can see on the bottom left. And we're trying to uh, develop some in situ measurements in Leo uh, by making use of this sensor. We have, of course, fully redesigned the whole thing. We have designed all the electronic components, and we have also developed an advanced sensor that I will show you in the following slide. Here in the middle, you can see uh, so that um, the MTC, the Munich dust counter, uh, was hired in three other missions. So we get also the results. And also here you can see how our six unit cube set will look like um, in, uh, in the future. Uh, the payload, uh, so as I said before, what we'll try to do is to retrieve flux, mass, velocity, and the crude direction of small debris and meteoroids. Um, and we're trying to do that in impact velocities up to 30 kilometers per second. We're planning to do the calibration in the first quarter of 2022. And here you can see the two different sensors. We have the baseline design and the advanced sensor. Um, so the difference that of so here what we did we have uh, five channels um, and I can show you from here for example the difference that with this concept here we can track the direction which is something that never happened before so this is let's say the comparative advantage of our mission uh, it's going to be uh, some parts of the software full open source and a lot of other things also in the in the near future and definitely we are open to hear your suggestions because we're looking for uh, for some new uh, ideas on how to implement and uh, post-process the results, uh, but also to find um, um, a particle accelerator around Europe that we would like to test our, our sensor. Nice. Um, on time? Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly on time. 
<laughs> That's your contact. Thank you very much, Sheriff. Uh, everybody, you have to turn on your microphone because you have to give a big yes to Eleftherios or the, as big as you wish. And you have three seconds to do, in, to do that in three seconds. Are you ready? And unmute. And three. I want to hear you. Yes. Two. One. Yes. yes. Well, it's oversaturated. See? So Thank good, good luck to that. Uh, for you, there, have a look at ESA Labs. They have this relations with the um, accelerators. Uh, have a look there. I don't know. 